Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Happy Tuesday. Uh, so, man, it just feels like a long time since the last time I, I posted a video. I know it's not the case, but um, yesterday, Monday, I didn't have any new videos to post. Uh, so that kind of sucked that I missed out on this week's Real, uh, Real Chat video, but that's okay. Uh, I do have some ideas of different uh, discussion videos I'd like to make in the future. So hopefully in the coming weeks, we'll have something uh, to build on uh, for the foreseeable future. Uh, Tuesday. Today's video, I got a few different items, not a whole lot of figures to discuss. So I figured I'd bundle them all together and we would just do just one main pickup video. I actually purchased a ton of Power Ranger toys. And I don't, because I had so many Pounder toys as a kid, obviously for the longest time, I had that kind of like built up just because. And then once I became an adult and everything, and after like several years, I decided to buy a few things here. Then like a couple more years would pass, I might buy a few more things, etc. Just to kind of keep the collection strong. But once I got into collecting, like real collecting, like this stuff collecting, uh, back in 21, um... That, I mean, I, that stuff doesn't really do anything for me. Like, I spend zero time staring at that collection. But recently on eBay, uh, I found a seller that doing some auctions and got some great prices and picked up a whole ton of, of those figures. And the new Lightning Collection is fantastic. Will I ever do any Power Ranger reviews? I don't think so. Um, not because it, I'm not 100, not because I'm not invested or anything, but I just don't think people would really enjoy those as much as wrestling because I think you know this has been known as a wrestling channel or you know wrestling collection channel so that's never what I wanted it to be but that's not how it just turned out to be so um, I'm sure we get some views but not a whole lot so uh, I've decided to kind of bypass those for now and kind of look at the figures that have come in over the last uh, about week week and a half two weeks so just before we get into like the main look uh, main look there were three new sets of bootleg figures that I did receive, and I really love the cards. The figures are so-and-so. You know, they're like AWA Remco versions, but the boot, bootleg copies of them. But the figure, but the card backs, the card backs were amazing. And the, the cardboard is a little bit more thick, so I really like that. Uh, this is called WWA Championship Wrestling, and uh, Bad to the Bone action figures again we've seen a hundred thousand of these figures in my collection they're all you know Remco, uh, Remco esque type figures so pretty solid man and like I said the, the freaking skull and, and you know the, the whole death look to it dark colors beautiful bleed uh, the way that bleeds in with the rest of the look of the, the actual wrestlers so I, I kind of look at this guy as kind of like a little pirate guy and whatnot and kind of looking at the background over here with the barbed wire, I didn't even notice that before. So, like I said, when I get these figures in, man, I might glance over them for a moment. But the time I really spend, like, actually giving a full review or actually noticing things is when I'm in front of this computer and filming the video for you guys. Uh, this is pretty fantastic. I love these things. I really don't know how many figures that this line came out with, but... You know, I think three of them for now are a pretty good, you know, stage. Especially when you consider all the other bootleg figures that I have. Now, because I have more than just bootleg in this video, I'm probably not going to put this in the bootleg folder. It's going to be just a random, you know, local, uh, a random pickup video. And the bad thing about these, though, none of these characters have names associated with them. So... You're, you're basically using your own imagination on who you think is going to be that particular character. Like someone like this is relatively easy for this particular line. Because anytime you see a character with like dual colored boots, you kind of think Iron Sheik, right? Now, bald head, that's really all he's got going for him. No mustache, but still a pretty sensational pickup. Uh, try to think how much I paid for these guys. I think I offered $36, $37 for the three. And, um, I don't know. I think individually, if you were to buy this on auction, they may sell for like five, ten bucks. 
And just because, you know, a lot of people might start beginning into bootleg videos. Why? Because people watch stuff like my channel or other people who might make bootleg reviews and they're interested in getting something similar. So, I always took great pride in that fact that my videos inspire other people. I just don't like when you watch somebody's channel and you reach out to them like, hey, thank you. you know, because of your videos, I've been inspired to buy something and then they kind of complain to you about it. Uh, once I get to like the magazine review, if I ever do those review videos, I've been putting it off like crazy. Uh, I'll kind of talk about that a little bit more. Uh, I've seen this character a, a bit and he's in a lot of the two packs and whatnot and like the, the champs with the LJN version cards with Rumpko figures. And to me, he, he was always like Greg Valentine. Either Greg Valentine or Ric Flair. Pretty much anyone that's blonde-haired, you pretty much put up uh, as one of those two characters. What sucks is that is the part of the championship belt, that little sticker. That WWA sticker. And uh, that should actually be on his belt. And you see uh, that a lot with the bootlegs where that sticker... I don't know why they put a sticker on there, but... <laughs> But they do come off the belt. It's not just a plain black belt. Regardless, though, you know, if you're a kid and you had a championship belt, that was pretty awesome. I'm trying to think. Championship belts as a kid. We did have, not this figure, but, like, particular figures are like this. You know, with, like, the, where the legs were kind of, like, facing inward like this or whatnot, or they're facing outward like that. Then these were all bent, but, like, facing outward. That, we've had those type of figures. <clears throat> and I said before, I always thought those were Remco's. Like, we always knew about Remco's. We knew that Remco's, the, the style of Remco figures, we knew that Remco were basically rip-offs of all these other very popular toy lines, right? And so when we got the Remco's, or when we got those bootleg figures, I always thought they were Remco. And I didn't like those figures at all. So my entire life, I hated on the Remco line. And then as I started collecting uh, wrestling figures a few years ago, Remco's have jumped up to like my fourth or fifth favorite toy line. At least for collecting purposes. But these right here, these are fantastic. Uh, either way, bootleg or original figures, these are pretty solid. So... Um, Back to the, the figures with the weird shaped legs, right? We use those championship belts. We use the championship belts that you get from the Galoop figures. And uh, that was always a lot of fun. But we never had no championship belt that you get with the ring from Hasbro or anything like that. Why? Because we never had any rings as kids. To this day, I, I tried making some videos <clears throat> with the actual wrestling rings. They're just so freaking difficult. I like a ring. I buy rings because I like to display the figures inside the ring. But imagine me right now trying to sit down and have a wrestling match. I despise using the rings because the ropes are in their way. And you can't really do it over the ropes. It just looks weird. So you try to slide your hands through the ropes or underneath. The, it just doesn't work. So just give me a flat surface, a table, and you know you just pretend to throw people over the ropes or whatever. Like if you're doing a rumble. So. No, never, never crazy about that. Um, this one right here. This is, I wouldn't say a holy grail piece, but it is definitely one of those pieces that I've been dying to pick up for a long while. Uh, think of WCW Galoob. All right, so for part of my personal collection, I have Luger and Sting from Series 1. I've got the Steiner Brothers from Series 1. I got Rick and Arn Anderson from Series 2. And I have the Rick Flair and Arn Anderson figures from Series 1. So, one of the more important figures to collect from the WCW Gloop line as tag teams are Doom. And this is one of those things where I could say without a, without a shadow of doubt, we only had Ron Simmons single pack. Why? Because Butch Reed, I never even knew of Butch Reed. I, I don't think I even knew that name until I started collecting a few years ago. But I think that these would have been... I think Ron Simmons would have been so much better as a playable wrestling action figure if I actually knew who these guys were or if I had this figure. The Steiner Brothers, because we had both Steiner Brothers as, as a kid, uh, I, I don't know if we had them on, double, on dual pack or single pack. 
I'm assuming we got each of them on single pack, but uh, to the best of my recollection, I can't ever remember getting either figure or any any figures on two pack. So I love the two packs. I think they're fantastic. And like I said, I'm not only trying to finish off the entire carded individual pickup, but I'm trying to get the entire carded uh, two packs as well. Like, one of those things I really want, like, I have Jimmy Garvin and I have Michael Hayes on individual card, right? But to get them both on dual card, now I do have the, like, the, what's it called? The Talking Modulator, whatever, two-pack of those guys, which are, like, crazy expensive. But to get them on this type of card, that's what I want. Will that ever happen? I keep saying may never happen, but I've said that about a lot of things. And I keep getting these amazing pieces in every now and then, so... It, it's possible. It just depends on how much you're willing to pay. Are you willing to go up to $600 or more for that type of stuff? For Gloob, probably not. I think Gloob, the only thing I would ever approve of is Sid Vicious because it's my favorite figure. So I might go to like four or 500 bucks for like a Sid Vicious series too. But any other Gloob figure, two pack or not, I, I just can't see it happening. Uh, da, 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 see if this says anything special. Uh, Doom, they take opponents to the mat. Tag team superstars of the WCW. Yeah, so the, the cards, I mean, like I said, they look almost identical to what you would look like, what they would look like on individual cards with all the same wrestlers and whatnot. So, but the two pack of Doom, I found it by chance, and they only had to buy it now for like 200. I really wanted to make an offer and get it for less, especially when I got it in the mail and I found out that like there's little cracks in the bubble and everything, but I didn't want to take take the chance that someone else did a bite now on it, not for something like this. So I was not thrilled to pay 200 bucks, but I, I, was, I was okay with it. You know, not the worst pickup I've ever made. Uh, this one comes from Hastel Toys. And I ordered this God knows how long ago. Uh, that's why I hate doing pre-orders. Pre-orders through like Mattel Creations is fine. Because you normally get them in a few weeks. But like the Asylum Store, Hastel Toys, Zombie Sailors. Uh, these figures just take a million years to come in and it's frustrating. But I finally did get my Carlos Colon Jr. figure in. Now, I gotta be honest, getting this figure, uh, when I saw the pictures of it, you know, I wasn't really impressed. I didn't think much of it. And I'm like, you know what, it's just something to add to the collection so that the collection stays at 100%. But get, actually getting the card in and seeing the figure, good playability to it, nice look. Uh, to me, I don't think that that shirt comes off or anything. So at some point, I'm probably going to find this figure on auction, and I'm going to try and win it. Hopefully for no more than 40 bucks. you know, the price of the card. And, you know, a little Apple. So obviously, when I think Carlos Colon, I think Puerto Rican superstar, you know, Puerto Rican legend. But um, obviously, Carlos Colon was the legend, obviously, from AWA Wrestling and later on with you know WWF Wrestling as well, right? So, and the first time I ever saw Carlos Colon, either 92 or 93 Borough Rumble. And so when I start collecting Rem uh, Remco figures and I see him in that orange singlet, I'm like, even though I've never really officially watched Carlos Colon wrestle... I knew exactly who that Remco figure was just off of that one look. So it just goes to show you what Carlos, what the name Carlos Colon means, right? I'm assuming Junior, so this has got to be his son. I, I don't think I've ever seen this guy wrestle in real life. So Carlos Colon Jr., I know pretty much nothing about him. I do know that the man has a phenomenal afro. <laughs> Uh, that's about it. Like I said, man, I mean, with these figures, a lot of these figures, you got to get permission from the estate, either family members directly, uh, if the wrestlers are, are still living, you get that consent, 
you know, these companies, they pay a fraction back to the estate of the wrestler, interviewer, commentator, what have you. So that's why I really like doing business with these guys is because it helps out the people they're modeling the figures after. So that's huge. And it's another figure to add to the collection. And it's when you actually get it in, it is a really nice one. I think uh, Hasto Toys still sends out emails every now and then about this particular figure. Now that it's in shop, you could probably still pick this up for, for relatively cheap. Um, I think their figures are like 40 bucks. And in fact, uh, shoot, I didn't know how much I ordered. I thought I ordered two of these, but only one came in, so maybe I'm wrong. I might just go that route and just buy a second carded figure and open up that one. Because you know if it sells on eBay... With auction, people are nuts. People are going to bid it up like 60 bucks or something crazy. I'm like, nah. Like uh, Powers of Pain, man. Uh, Powers of Pain from Epic Toys. Loose figures, not even on card. Loose figures are selling for like $150. Why? You, you buy them at one time, they were like $65 on card. And to see loose figures go for north of 100 bucks. Ugh. But we'll take one last look at Carlos Colon Jr. Another awesome addition for Hastel Toys. And uh, trying to think what's coming up this week. So tomorrow we're going to post the video for the uh, Heart Foundation from Coliseum Mattel Creations. And I've already made that video, so it's already going to be in queue, ready to go. And... Uh, I just, I have a eBay video coming out this Saturday, so that should be a lot, that should be some fun. Um, another drinking and chatting video. <laughs> this Friday, <clears throat> this Friday we're going to post the first video of the, uh, my least favorite WWF LJN tournament. And, uh, there were four, I think there were seven or eight videos total. So not it's not a long tournament. I can probably post those videos once every Friday per normal, or I could probably post two or three videos a week. But that means that I'm gonna have to create another tournament uh, to kind of balance it out so that I keep going every Friday and so often. But I don't know because I've already made the entire tournament videos. Uh, obviously, they're gonna be out of order compared to you know these videos, but. Uh, and I talk a lot about wanting to post those videos two or three times a week. But I might have to settle for just once a week. Again, it all depends on what I'm posting on a particular day. If there's no plans for it, yeah, I can drop a, a tournament video in that slot. So uh, that's coming up this week, guys. As always, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, any recommendations, as always, please feel free to reach out anytime. Uh, as I do look forward to hearing from you. Thank you and see you in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.